All right, we're about to go ahead and do the reassembly of this RCA 7-inch uh, Voyager tablet. So I went ahead and cleaned off the bezel of the device so there's no residue on there. You see I have my piece of replacement glass here. It uh, has the pre-installed 3M double-sided tape. If not, if you have a piece that doesn't, you can buy some of the tape off eBay. Just go ahead and put her in the same kind of area you see around this one. There's some lower edges and some raised edges. Uh, just the bottom edge is the one that you want to put the tape on the, the raised portion. So we're just going to go ahead and remove all of the plastic backing off of the new screen and all the backing off of the double-sided tape as well. So with all the backing removed, we're going to go ahead and insert the ribbon cable into the slot first. We want to make sure the ribbon cable goes all the way through. Start pressing the screen in from the corner closest to the ribbon cable. Put the second corner in on the opposite side. And then press down across and make sure the ribbon cable, the, all the corners fit in nice and flush. I'm just going to peel back this plastic sheeting here. It's getting caught underneath. So we're just going to peel it back to make sure that it doesn't get caught underneath the glass. It gets a nice adherence all the way down all the sides. Let's press in all the sides. Make sure it's nice and stuck down. Be careful not to touch the back portion of the glass. You don't want to put any fingerprints on it. Just double checking the ribbon cable to make sure it popped all the way through. It's looking good. Make sure it gets nice and adhered to the piece of plastic frame. working our way around. The glass is a little flimsier on the corner so I just want to make sure it's nice and stuck on. Alright, we're going to go ahead and start uh, reassembling the device, putting the pieces back in. Start with the LCD screen first. Now if you have a microfiber cloth just go ahead and just double check, make sure there's no dust on there. If you did get a fingerprint on it, just dry scrub it with a microfiber cloth rather than trying to wet it down or anything. Don't try to streak the display. Uh, just dry clean it. Um, just use uh, some hot uh, breath uh, from just blowing on it a little bit and see if you can use that as the, a little tiny bit of moisture to help clean it if you need to. Um, <clears throat> just use a suction cup to help uh, like a baby nose blower or something to get some dust particles off. So I'm going to go and insert it back in, starting with one edge into the side first. Make sure you don't push any ribbon cables underneath it as you're clipping it back in. Make sure the little black clips around the sides of the LCD fit back in and they're clipped down. Just working my ray around the sides here. Check and see if that's glue, which it is on the display. Make sure that you didn't get any pieces of lint underneath or anything unexpected. That way, you get a nice clean display. I'm just going to put it on top of a microfiber cloth since I removed the protective cover. So when I'm reassembling it, nothing bad happens to it. So now we have our pieces that we took apart out of the tablet. So we're just going to go ahead and put them back in. I reassemble it the way that we took it apart. So just move some of the pieces around. Now you see it's got a pretty open cavity on the back of the device. So you don't have to put everything back in exactly the way it came out. So just be careful that you don't have anything covering up the speaker area. And when I say everything, I mean the battery. Uh, just make sure you don't have anything covering the speaker area. There's some little posts that the um, the logic board is going to sit back onto. You just need to make sure you line those up correctly. Uh, the screw holes will need to be lined up correctly as well. It'll kind of sit back into place once you find the right spot. We have a little Wi-Fi antenna, but we'll deal with that in just a second. 
The next step is we're going to put our three screws back in. To hold the logic board into place. We can take our little Wi-Fi antenna. We're going to put it back on. There's two little prong pieces where it sits. We're just going to use our nylon spudger here to fit it back down and make sure it's adhered back to the spot on the device. Flip up our ribbon cable connector and go ahead and reinsert the ribbon cable here. Make sure it's pushed in nice and snug in there <clears throat> and then just flip it down. Do the same thing for our LCD cable here at the top. Want to make sure that it's folded over just the exact same way we disassembled it. Make sure it fits in there nice and snug as well. Now we can go ahead and put our front facing camera back in. Let's go ahead and push it back down. It'll clip back into its place as well. Then we'll insert the ribbon cable for this. Push it down. I'm just going to flip it over and go ahead and try to power it on here real fast. There we go. All right, you can see that our touch screen is now functional. Seems to be working great. Now we're gonna go ahead and just take the device and put it back into its frame. So we're gonna take it and slide it from like the power button area in. I'm just gonna double check my cable connections here, make sure everything's nice and snug. Make sure that the battery's adhered, that you press down on that as well. Don't need that flopping around on the insert side portion. We're just going to take and put our power button area on first. Line everything up. And start and then work our way from that side down to the bottom. Just double check and make sure that our power button's put back in there. It might actually be easier to start this way. That way the power button will sit flat. You can kind of push everything back in. And work your way down the sides and the corners. It'll just snap right back on. Once you've done that, just kind of test the buttons, make sure everything functions properly on the sides. You can see the volume buttons are functioning properly for us as well. We're going to go ahead and put our two screws in the side here. And that's it. There you have a replaced screen on an RCA 7-inch Voyager. I believe the exact model number on this um, is RCT 6773W22. If you found the video helpful, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see any future videos, go ahead and subscribe. Any questions, go ahead and throw them in the comments. And I hope to catch you on the next video.